everyone. So I wanted to make a quick video today about motivation and the reason I want to talk about this or more specifically about the experience of lacking motivation. My perception of this problem has changed a lot over the last 15 to 20 years. I used to be part of the motivation industry. I was a part of the audience and later on I was a speaker. Uh, I was a big fan of the tools and techniques until I started to realize that they didn't work for very long and when they did they actually had a hidden consequence. Now, I've spoken about this in regards to self-image and positive and negative perception, but essentially the tactic when you're dealing with a lack of motivation is typically to either come up with a bigger dream or to come up with a higher expectation of yourself. So essentially what you're doing is you believe that your lack of energy can be fixed by chasing a bigger motivator, by coming up with a larger conceptual carrot to chase or a larger conceptual stick to run away from. So the idea is that the motivator is what's going to provide your energy. And if that's if you don't have a big enough motivator, then you obviously just aren't going to have enough energy to change your life. Now, when I talked about this in terms of self-image and negative positive perspective, I was saying that the danger intrinsically in this tactic is that your attention and your and your focus goes more into the motivator than it does into actually changing your life. So you may feel very motivated, you may feel very positive, but unfortunately, most of your attention is going to, to go into maintaining that feeling, and you're not actually going to get a lot done. And the more you focus on that motivator, the more afraid you become of it not working or of it being proven wrong, and so you become more defensive, and even more and more of your attention and energy goes into the motivator until you find yourself a, addicted to motivation without actually doing anything to move forward. So rather than doing that, my perspective is this. You have an abundant source of energy right now. You are full of energy. The problem that you have is that you're misusing that energy and not seeing where you're wasting it. Now, in my previous videos, I've talked about self-image, negative and positive perceptions, thinking about things that aren't here and aren't relevant. And this is exactly our problem. Our problem is not that we need a bigger motivator. Our problem is that we are dragging ourselves back by carrying baggage that's just not necessary. Thinking about people's perspectives of us, thinking about expectations of us, thinking about ourselves in terms of whether we're a failure or a success, thinking about what that's going to mean to our life in the future, thinking about what people are going to think about us if we do accomplish or don't accomplish a certain thing. These are all thoughts that are ultimately irrelevant, but we are constantly juggling them in our mind, and those thoughts are taking away our energy, and that's what's sapping our feeling of motivation. It's very much like if you had a battery and you use that battery to power one light bulb, it would do that well. But the more light bulbs you connect to it, the dimmer and dimmer each of them gets until eventually there's no light at all. That's pretty much what we're doing most of the time. And we're doing it simply because we're not aware of the consequences of where we put our thoughts and our attention. So rather than chasing a motivator, rather than trying to get yourself a boost, Look at where you're holding yourself back and ultimately you're holding yourself back with your self-image and your thoughts of the past and the future and other people's perspectives of you and a bunch of other things that are ultimately irrelevant. But they do drain your energy. They do leave you in a state where you don't feel like you can move forward because you're spending all of your energy just trying to maintain and cope with now. So that's my perspective of motivation and it works. I know it works. It just takes a little while to get used to, particularly when you're, when you're used to only chasing the carrot or avoiding the stick. When you stop doing that, you're going to end up in this place where you realize that you are ultimately free of all of these thoughts, but you're not quite sure why you should move forward. And it takes a little while to get used to the fact that you should move forward because you can. Not because it's going to make you a better person, not because it's going to give you a, big, a better self-image or it's going to increase your self-image in the eyes of others, but because of the experience itself. And that's when your motivation goes from attaining things to experiencing things. And the things that you do become their own reward. So it's no longer about the carrot or the stick. And you will feel an abundant energy all the time simply because you can and because you're not wasting it on thought that ultimately does nothing but tears you down. So if you have any questions or if you have any comments, please leave them below and I'll be happy to address them. As always, I'll leave another video soon. Take care, guys.